Hey guys, it's Mandy. I'm really excited you've decided to click on this video today. So we are going to be doing a full length bar class. All right, so I hope that you enjoy it. It is going to be a full body workout. Go ahead and start now, get prepared, have your water around, maybe a towel to wipe off, and let's get started, okay? So from here, quick warm up. Let's step back to the back of the mat. Inhale, reach up those hands nice and high, and then exhale, fold over. Walk out to downward facing dog. And begin to pedal out those heels, taking down right and left, just one at a time, walking your dog, that's what it's called. And then inhale, releve, that means tippy toes, so heels come up nice and high. Exhale, lower them down, press them into the mat. Inhale, releve. Exhale, press them down. Last time, releve. And send them down. Inhale, right leg lifts, three-legged dog, and bring it through, exhale. Lunge, okay? Hold here and let's shift forward and back for a second, letting your hips open up. Just taking the tippy toes back and forth here. And drop that back knee. Left hand on the mat, right hand reaches for a twist, letting the hips kind of sink into the floor for a moment. And then exhale, right hand down, set your hips back. So half split. Now here the toes pull back and the heart reaches up and forward to the toes. Inhale, rock forward, hold. And exhale, set it back. Very, very good. Rock forward again and curl the back toes. Lift the knee, step back, downward dog. Inhale, lift left leg. Exhale, bring it through, lunge. Let's come shifting forward and back, forward and back. Very good, just getting through the hips, through the leg. Back knee drops, uncurl, right hand on the mat, left hand lifts, here's your twist again. Maybe you stretch out the wrists or the fingers and release, hips go back, half split. Remember, toes pull back, heart reaches forward. That's how you're gonna maximize the stretch in the back of the left leg. Inhale, rock forward. And exhale, set it back. If you'd like, you can tuck the chin into the chest. I think that feels really good down my spine and all the way through the glute and the back of the leg, but it's up to you, of course. Okay, rock forward. And this time, just go to tabletop. So send your left foot back, tabletop. Knees under hips, wrists right under shoulders. Inhale, drop the belly, look up, exhale, round. Now do this two more times at your own pace. We're moving through cat-cow, okay? Very nice. Should be on that last time. Belly is going down, rounding through the back. And then flat spine, right hip, right shoulder, squeeze the waist, left hip, left shoulder, squeeze that waist. Ooh, my obliques are a little sore from that other video, the obliques video. Come back to the middle. Ah, oh, good job. Swing the legs in front and set the hips back. Few more stretches here and then we're just gonna get going. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, fold forward, pulling those toes back. One last stretch in the back of the legs, okay? Keep your chest down. Let's reach those arms behind you. Interlace the fingers together, palms together, and reach back, stretching out the front of the shoulders and the chest a little bit. Very nice. And lift up. Hinge forward. And lift up. There we go. Release. Fingertips out to the side. Sit up. Nice and tall, right ear down. Stretching out the neck and left ear down. Good job, good job. Come back to the middle, tuck the chin into the chest. And lift back up. Shoulders roll back, shoulders roll back. Okay, let's scoot into the middle of the mat. Grab behind those thighs and rock all the way back up to your forward fold. Wonderful job. Okay, so from here, starting off with some chair, let's send the hips back and reach the hands out. Weight shifts back into the heels. Reach out and add your small pulse. Down, down, very good. So the thumbs reach up to the sky here. Take it down. Pull your tummy in and kind of flex it, maybe a little bit of a round through the tailbone there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
Let's stay down low, hands to heart center. Twist to your right and to the left. There you go, breathe, twist. So flex your belly, squeeze and squeeze. Now you keep that bend in the knees. Side twist and side twist. Just four more, three, two, and one in the middle. Let's releve, so heels come up and tap them down. Lift and tap, good job. Already you start to feel the lower body warming up as well as your belly, okay, for sure. Six, five, four, three, two. Drop those heels, we're gonna reach out, tap to the right, squeeze the shoulder blades in, and tap to the left. Reach out, reach out. So squeeze the upper back here, shoulders. Just tap and tap. Legs stay bent the whole time, holding out to the right in four, three, two, hold right. Take the leg up and down. Woo, waist, squeeze your waist, use the obliques. Four, three, two, alternate those taps. Warming up the whole body right now. Chest, shoulders, legs, abdomen, it's all going, okay? Four, three, two, and with your left foot out, hold it. Let's tap and lift. Keep a bend in the standing leg, shoulder squeeze up. Four, three, two, and one. Back to your chair, stand up, press back, and sit down in chair, press. Good job. Okay, squeeze up, squeeze up. So when you come up, flex the tush, sit it back, flex it, sit it back. Now you're only gonna get the most out of this, okay? If you can really engage those muscles, okay? Inner thighs and glutes, four, three, Two, hold back in that chair, reach the hands out. Woo, let's get low, let's get low. Let it burn, tuck the belly in a bit. Six, five, four, three, two, stay down. Press the hands back, releve, and reach back out. Releve, releve. Good job. Press back, nice and firm, squeeze your back, four, Three, two, so good, last one, and release. Woo, okay, good job, good job. Let's do a little shimmy, a little shimmy. Kick the booty, get your little stretch in, okay? And from here, first position is heels together, toes out. First position in ballet, okay? We're gonna come to second, stepping out nice and wide, okay? Wider than the shoulders, feet are out. Toes point at 10 and two on a clock. So about 45 degrees. Plie, bend. Plie just means to bend, okay? Shift the weight into the outside edge of the foot so the knees kind of press back, hands to heart center. And let's reach up and plie. Reach up and plie, okay? So while you keep going, just check out your form. Think about it. Is the tailbone going back into like a sumo squat? Or are you going straight down, straight up? That's what we're aiming for, is the straight down, straight up, okay? Now, make sure the knees are not coming past the ankles. We just wanna keep those knees behind them, okay? Four more, three, two, hold down right here. Hold, 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 press the palms together, engage your Pecs here, the front of your chest, and shift in the knees one inch, right and left. Okay, so not coming past the ankle still. It is so tiny. A lot of the bar movements are really small. Pulses, little tucks, okay? Good job, breathe. Heart rate's already up a little bit. Muscles are getting warm. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's stay right here. Little pulls down. Just down an inch. Remember the knees, track in the direction of the toes, belly is engaged, so you keep this flex for the whole class, okay? But there will be a specific abs part. Six, five, four, three, two, stay down. Let's reach those hands out. Tap down to your right ankle, squeeze the waist, and down to left, right, and left. 
Good job, okay, so you're staying low. If you wanna modify, you just straighten out the legs a bit. That's it, okay? And don't lean quite as deep into it. Ooh, I bet you're looking good at home. I know you are. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it. Reach those arms out and pulse them down. Man, my legs, my legs. It's normal for the top of the quads here, the top of the thighs, your quads, to be warm, okay? They're getting a little bit of a burn. Six, five, four, three, two. Palms come up and keep those pulses going. No weights needed for these arms. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Add a circle back in those arms. Circle back. If you can add a little pulse in the legs with your circle, do that. Little pulse up. Ooh, getting into the whole body. Six, five, four, taking it forward. In three, two, and circle forward. Pulse is still going if you can, otherwise just stay still. Option always to come up and modify. Straighten out your legs just a bit. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Release, inhale, hands up high. Ooh, let's shake out the hips. Little bit of a stretch. We're gonna come back into second position. Don't have doubts, you can do this, okay? Ooh, all right, when you're ready, plie, take it back down. Good job. Right heel lifts, left heel lifts. Right and left. Right and left. Good job. Hands can be on the hips or heart center, whatever you're most comfortable with. But the legs are a little bit shaky. Okay, you can really feel the burn. Good job, good job. Challenge yourself. Six, five, four, three, two. The right heel stays up and add a small dip down. Hoo Inner thigh work, inner thigh work, yes. Good job. You've got that releve right side. Six, five, four. You know you got to do left. In two, and one. Take it left. Ooh Good job. Four, three, two, one. Drop the heel. Quick break. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. Inhale, reach. Exhale down. If you need to adjust your heels, pull them in a little bit, you can do that. And then from here. Hands like mine. We're gonna lift up, releve, and take it down. Both heels up, both heels down. Good job, reach up, take it down. Reach up, take it down. Ooh, I know you can feel it. Four, not too many, I promise. Three, two, last one. Ooh, good job. Oh my gosh, I think we need a break. I think we need a break. Okay, heel toe it in. Boop, 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 in, in. Okay, right heel, right glute. If you've got a wall nearby or a chair, feel free to use that. Let's go ahead and pull it in, stretch out the front of the thigh, standing up nice and tall. So to be clear, hand goes where the shoelaces go. Okay, top of the foot. <sighs> Exhale, release it. <sighs> you've made it really far. Okay, let's take right foot down, left foot comes in, and give it a big hug here. Okay, maybe you're working on balance, maybe not, but let's focus on those legs still, okay? Release. So I taught you about second position and first position. Let's find a happy medium. So where the legs are not quite too wide, but they're not together, okay? So from here, awesome. Let's go ahead and reach out, add a releve and tap. Now we're shifting into calves. So we worked quads, we're doing calves, releve. Releve. See if you can bring those hands up overhead. Flexing your core in here. Good job, pointing through the toes. Just lift and lift. Six, five, four, three, two. Lift and hold, add a small pulse. Okay, now if you keep these pulses small and quick, small and quick, your calves are gonna start to light up really fast, okay? Six, five, four, three, two, back to the taps and lift, tap, lift. So barely even touching the floor. It's like the smallest little hover and then you come back up. Let's go ahead and add the arms. So take them down and releve, down, releve. 
lift up and lower with control. Four more, three, hovering your heels in two, hover them right above the floor. So they're barely lifted and pulse right there. Little pulse, little pulse, tiny, tiny, eight, seven, six, five. I know I'm killing you. Three, two, one, whoa, relax. Whew. Oh my calves, oh my gosh. Okay, circle it out. Circle it out. Yes, I give you stretches, okay? So step forward and come into a lunge. Take whatever heel you want to back. Go ahead and maybe lift it up and send it back down again. This is a calf stretch, not real work, okay? So just reach. <sighs> Let out your exhale. Press, press, press. Good job. Maybe you're pressing on a wall or your sofa, the back of the sofa, whatever works, okay? And then step back up, switch heels. Take that opposite one down. Good job, good job. Lift it up, send it down. Almost through, almost through. Okay, and step up. Whoa. Okay, calves, woohoo calves. All right, first position. If you need a chair, back the sofa wall, great. If not, practice balance, that's cool too, okay? Heels together, small, okay? Bend the knees, we're gonna let them go out like a diamond and zip up. Out like a diamond, zip up. This is tiny to start. Let's just get this movement down, okay? And then we're gonna build. If you've got ankle problems, you can always stay here. You don't even need to come up on tippy toes. But for the rest of you guys, we're gonna releve. In four, three, two, and one. Let's go ahead and releve. And then walk the heels to touch. Imagine a hundred dollar bill right in between those heels. You are not going to let that go. I know you're not going to let that go. So hold it in really tight right there. Don't let it drop. Hands come to heart center. Let's plie. That just means bend again and stand up. Plie and stand up. Notice that when I come down, the booty is not going back. Okay. We're not trying to impress anyone with the booty going back for here. We're going straight down, straight up. So I can literally go against my wall. Straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up. Just like that, okay? When you come up, zip up the inner thighs. Good job. Four more, three, two, hold it down. Let's take those arms in front and we're gonna open up, press the knees back and then bring them in with the arms. Press back, bring them in. It's small. Okay, so you're just like engaging the glutes and the back of the legs here and then releasing in. Open, close, open, close. Can you get a little deeper? Four, three, two, open up, hold it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, okay. Take a deep breath. Let's see if you can stay here. Reach overhead, reach overhead. So it's like a side stretch. Legs are really working hard, okay, to keep you still. Four, three, two, tighten up your core. Last one, level off those arms. Oop, I'm going back. Okay, hands start at center, pulse. Little bend, little bend. Getting into your legs, I know. Remember the dollar bill, right there, that hundred dollars that you're not letting go of, okay? That is engaging your inner thighs. Down, down, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, release it. Okay, let's do a quick little stretch again. Sending your right foot back into your lunge, okay? Let's go ahead and step it up. Take the back foot 45 degrees. Front foot faces forward and hinge down. Over that leg, okay, the front leg. This is your pyramid pose, okay, in yoga. Notice both my heels are touching and I'm just hinging forward. And then step up, go back to your lunge, opposite side. Hold for a second. And then step up a little bit more, the back foot 45 degrees, front foot forward, and hinge down again. Both heels, notice, are on the mat. Pyramid pose, belly's pulling in, and then you have a nice flat back. I think we've done enough leg sculpting for a bit, so we're gonna transition away from that. And then go ahead and step up. Woo, inhale, hands up. Swan dive, forward fold. 
take it down. Step back to plank and drop those knees. Okay, so now we're in tabletop. Okay, I'm getting ready here. If your wrists are, you know, a little bit weaker and you're still kind of working on building those up, you can come to forearms whenever you need to, okay? From here, right leg extends back behind you. Point through the toes. If you're really great with balance, take your left hand and rest it on top of the back or use it to help guide your stomach up and flex it to ensure you're flexing, okay? So from here, right leg lifts and taps. Good job. If you wanna practice the whole one-handed thing, you can do that at any time. I like to use my left hand to make sure my tummy isn't sagging. <laughs> I'm not forgetting about the abs, okay? Six, five, four, three, two. This is hard, but this is why you clicked on it, okay? Bend the knee and reach out. Bend and reach. Good job. When you pull in, let's kick the heel in. So you're flexing the hamstring. If your knee is down a little bit, that's okay. Build up to it. Build up to that knee being hip height, okay? Now my gaze is right down at the mat and yours should be too. Not back at the knees, they're okay, all right? Four, three, let's keep the bend in two, and one little pulse up. Now notice, the bend isn't coming from my back. It is from your right butt cheek. Literally, that's where it's coming from, okay? So when you pulse up, that is what you're flexing, okay? Oh, right there, okay? Little lift, little lift. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Flex your heel and kick. Once again, gaze down. Oh, we Back of the leg. Let's keep the knee lifted. Six, five, four, three, two, one, drop the knee and press. Drop and press. Woo, good job, little lift. Take it up, take it up. That heel is kicking to the ceiling with power. Flex, back is still belly tight. Four, three, two, one. Oh, drop it down. Ah, take a break. You have made it really far, like 22 minutes in. Very impressed. Okay, so sending those hips back. Right to left, right to left. This is all about you, okay? It's your practice. So I want you to get a good stretch in, in whatever way feels best. Rock forward. This time left foot goes back. Now, option to come to the forearm right here. Option to come to the wrist is this way. And then if you wanna take the right hand and rest it on top of your back, you can do that or holding your tummy up. Let's tap and lift. Now point that leg to the back wall. Trick question. Where is the flex coming from? Is it the belly? Is it the back? Is it that left cheek? You should remember this, okay? From that last time, lift, use the cheek. Your glute muscle working hard. Six, five, four, three, two, lift up. Give that tummy a little slap. Make sure it's pulling up. Make sure it's flexing. Bend the knee, kick, bend, kick. Good job, woo -wee. A little bit of sweat kind of driven off the forehead. That's cool. Six, five, four, three, two, and bend. Little pulse. All right. So you could be pulsing through your back, right? You could be doing that, but you're not. You are holding the back still. You're flexing the cheek. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Knee comes down, press. Down, press, good job. Big lift, big lift, big lift. Four, heel kicks in three, two, hold it. Flex the heel, kick, kick. Can you keep the knee lifted? Maybe hip height, maybe that's your goal. That's where you wanna be someday, that's great. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down, set it back. Woo, round through that back a little bit. Should feel really nice, okay? Really nice. Ah, relax, relax. Okay, tabletop. Come up to your palms if you haven't yet, let's do that. Knees are gonna stay bent for this. Go ahead and zip up in your thighs. Zip them up and let's go ahead and whoop, pull the belly button up, flex it under here. Circle the right knee back and around, back and around. 
option to come down to your left forearm. I'm okay with that. I really just want you to focus on obliques and glutes. So you can be up on palms or down on your left forearm all the way around. Whoops. <laughs> you just need the wall. Okay, three, two, hold it up. Reach that leg back, pull the knee in. Good job. Squeeze the waist. Squeeze the waist. Yes, that's the obliques coming in. Four, three, reach the toe up high. Two, and one. Relax. Ooh, okay, zip up the legs. Let's circle left knee back. You can switch to right forearm being down. Circle back. Circle back. Breathe. Four, three, two, take it up, reach the toe back, pull that knee in, oh, squeeze the waist, oh, big crunch, exhale when you pull in, four, three, two, one, and release it, hips go back, let's do a quick child's pose, so that means knees out, toes together, reach through the fingertips, palms press down into the mat, deep breath, and exhale. Another inhale. And exhale. Walk the hands back and swing the legs in front. Great, great, great. Okay. Scoot into the middle of your mat, moving into a little bit more booty and some abs. Roll all the way down onto the mat. Okay. So from here, I want that low back to really squeeze into the floor. So you're, you're tilting the pelvis back, okay? So let's practice that for a second. Let it release, gap in the back, okay? And then tilt it back. Release, tilt it back. Release, tilt back. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Four, three, two, Tuck it down and hold it. That's where we want to stay. Okay, that's where we want to stay. Hands behind the head. Shoulders come up. Shoulders come down. So, the gaze is up. Okay, trying not to jerk the chin into the chest, but instead looking to the ceiling and making that your goal. Lift. Lift. Do a quick little check back in with the hips. Let's make sure the pelvis is still tilting back and that your lower abdomen is engaged. Six, five, four, three, two, and let's lift up and hold it. Good job. Wide elbows here. We're going to take the left shoulder up. So leaning to the right, come back to the middle. Exhale, lean left. Right, left, right, left. Good job. So flex and flex side to side, lift. Notice that the flex is shifting from one side of the waist to the other. You're taking one shoulder up and the other. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Hands come down on either side of the hips. Come in with the heels to tickle the back of the heel with the fingertips, okay? Lift up to bridge. Okay, walk those feet out. So heel toe them out wide enough, as wide as your mat, or a little wider than the hips. So we're making a nice V with those knees. And from here, just tap the hips down and squeeze the hips up, down and up. So it's back to that booty work. The toes are flaring out just a little bit, okay? If that's what's comfortable, and you're focusing on that squeeze up, barely just tapping down and lifting up, five, Four, it's gonna build in three, two, take it up, heels up. So you're gonna releve. If you wanna walk them in a bit, you can. I walked mine back a bit, that's good. Knees in, zip up the inner thighs, press out, in, out. Okay, if you notice that when you go out, you dip the hips, let's try to keep them up the whole time so those don't move. If you need hands underneath there to be a reminder for you, that's cool, okay? Out and in, out and in, six, five. It's about taking them out without dropping down. Three, two, wide knees, hold. Little pulse up, up. So small, don't worry about what you look like. You're not on YouTube getting filmed. 
<laughs> Hopefully you're just in your den doing this, okay? Little lift, little lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, high hips, knees out and inch. So you're still on those tippy toes, okay? Your buns are squeezing up, your knees are fanning out, and you're looking good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, knees in, knees out. Again, we'll give it a stretch soon, I promise. Out, in, out, in, six, five, four, three, two, wide knees, wide knees. Hold, 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 hold. Let's see if you can lift up. Now zip the knees up. Okay, so they're together, the inner thighs do touch, if at all possible, okay? Even if you need to walk the feet in a bit. And from here, a little squeeze up. Notice that I'm barely moving. You're like, is she doing anything? I don't know, but you can feel it. If you're doing it, you can feel it. Lift, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold up. Now pull the knees in, so flex the inner thighs in, in. You can't really see me moving, but I can feel it. Go ahead and use your low abs here. Flex them in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last set of out, in, out, in. Make it through. Make it through. You can do it. Let's try to lift up even higher. Push yourself. Push yourself to make it. Five, four. That's all I'm asking. Three, two, and one, let's drop down. Oh my gosh, good job. Knees into the chest, give them a hug. Let's sway right to lap, massaging the low back here. That's good. Woo, good job. One hand to each knee, gentle circles out and apart and then back together, out and apart, back together. Three, two, one, relax down. Okay, good job. Let's go ahead and rock up to seated and just plant those forearms down behind you, okay? Good job, okay. So from here, tuck the belly button in. Go ahead and scoop down. Remember that little pelvic tilt back, okay? Keep that squeeze. Tabletop the legs, tap right toes and left. Chin is lifted. Try not to slump down into the shoulders. Good job, lift up. Proud chest, nice and perky here. Lift, lift, lift. Six, five, four, three, two, and tabletop hold. Just bend, lift, bend, lift. Notice my knees are not quite over the hips. They're out a little bit. That's making me use the abs more, okay? Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold up, right knee left knee, right knee, left knee, reach, reach. How low can you get the leg? Reach out, reach out. Make sure those shoulders are still lowering down away from the ears, proud chest. Six, five, four, three, gonna hold in two, and one, hold wherever you are. Pull the back down. We're gonna lift up an inch and lower. So it's you tilting back, release. Little tilt, release. Oh, it's hard. It's so small, but it's so hard. So it's not you lifting the leg, it's you tilting the core and pulling it back. Three, two, one, and switch. So it's a crunch, think about a crunch. In, in. Just three, two, one. Whoa, I need a break. Oh, let the head drop, let the head drop if you need to, okay? All right, woo -wee. come back up onto the palms this time. And let's go ahead and add a little bend in the elbows so you're leaning back just a bit, triceps kind of engaged, reach the right toes out and circle that leg. Okay, so you've got this really good flex going on in your stomach. Little bit of tricep work happening because you're leaning back and you're having to use those two. Big leg circles. And place some thought into the top of the thigh as well. That's working. Four, three, two. Try to lift up, hold. Take it out, center, out, center. That's inner thigh. Six, five, whoo, top of thigh two. Last, I don't know, two and one. Release. I lost where we were for a sec. Okay, bend the elbows, reach left out and circle. 
circle. If you want to make it harder, come to your tippy toes on the right leg or tabletop. Woo, how about that? Okay. Around, around, four, three, two, lift it up. Try to get it in line here. Take it out, in, out, in, inner thigh. Flex, flex, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo, good job, relax, tabletop both legs. Again, see if you can take palms out to either side here. Your core is just getting, this is getting harder and harder. You can always modify by taking the hands down or tippy toes resting on the floor, okay? Choose what you wanna choose. Take a deep breath, inhale, sit tall. Exhale, release, inhale, lift, scoop the belly. Inhale, scoop. Four, listen to my breath. Mimic it. Last three. Two. One. Pump those hands down, down, down. Deep breaths in. Deep breaths in. Let them out. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Sit up. Woo. I am proud of you. That was tough abs. Okay. Right hand down, left arm up and over. You should be proud of yourself too. Left hand down, up and over. Okay, okay, okay. And come back, shoulders roll back. Shoulders roll back. Yes, last two. Send them down, great. Awesome, awesome. Okay, we need to do just a bit more core work. So roll down all the way one vertebrae at a time. There we go. Okay. Soles of the feet together. Let's butterfly the knees out to kind of give the hips a little bit of a stretch too. Hands come back behind the head. My back is off of the mat there. Let's go ahead and pull the back down onto the mat. Press the soles of the feet together and lift the shoulders up and down. Okay. Lift and lift. You're doing so good. Okay, you've made it really far through this class. Six, five, four, three, two. Lift up and hold. Let's press the feet together and take them up off the floor. Your upper back can be down or lifted. It's up to you. Now tap the feet, lift. Tap the feet, lift. <sighs> doing good. Up, tap, up. Tap six, five, four, awesome, three, two, hold it up, shoulders down, up, shoulders down, up. Okay, so you just did your lower body, now you're doing the upper body, and then next we're gonna combine five, four, three, two, and from here, tap down, upper and lower, squeeze, tap, squeeze, Tap, squeeze, there you go. Just because you tap down doesn't mean we can lift the back up. So if it means maybe not dropping as low, that's okay. <sighs> squeeze. <sighs> when you exhale, it's a flex. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, good job. Good morning stretch, okay? That's hands overhead, legs come long. Let's peel the back up off the mat. Deep breath in. Exhale it out. Okay, we've got arms to go. And then guess what? It's relaxation time, okay? Lift the shoulders all the way up. Let's use some momentum to sit up nice and tall. Ooh, there we go, okay. Legs come out into a V. Sit up nice and tall. And let's go ahead and take right hand up and reach it across to the left foot. Okay, so we're just stretching out the back, resting down, a little bit of a twist in the belly. Good job, and lift back up. Left hand over to the outside of the right foot, hinging down, stretching out the back. We'll do a good cool down stretch at the very end, okay? So don't worry about that. And let's come back. Oh, legs, swing around. We need to work out some arms, okay? So from here, plant those hands firmly down on the mat and then walk your knees back to a modified plank. Take them out a little bit wider. 
okay? So the body makes a diagonal line from the shoulder to the hip bone to the knee, okay? And then from here, we're gonna tap opposite shoulders. Tap right and left, right and left. Okay, now the trick is to keep the body really still, ultra still. So when you shift from side to side, you can feel it flex right and left in the core. So observe that, notice it shift from side to side on your stomach. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Add a very small push up, elbows go out, push up, elbows go out. It's small, and I really mean it, like one inch. Down, press, down, press. Whew. Upper body is really challenging, okay? It's not like lifting weights. Push-ups are difficult. Lifting weights is difficult too. Don't take that the wrong way. <laughs> but using all of your body weight can be very hard. Just three, two, and one. Set it back. Ah, child's pose, reach out. Okay. Ah, very good, very good. Let's rock forward again into that same modified plank. Okay, hips go down. Nice long line. Walk the hands in a little bit this time. Elbows are gonna graze the sides of the rib cage and press. <sighs> Tricep push-ups. So the crease of the arm is going forward. <sighs> if you have a mirror at home, use that to help you with your form. Six, five, <sighs> four, three, <sighs> two, and one. Set it back. Very good, very good, very good. We're gonna come to a full plank now, getting off of those knees and rock forward. Let's lift up, woo. Okay, so try not to slump down, okay? Or lift too high to downward dog. We wanna find that neutral spine that's flat and tuck the hips under here, okay? So you can widen the feet a bit if you need to, drop down to your forearms and press back up, alternate down, down, up, up down, down, up, up. Whew. All right, if you notice it's already getting a little too difficult, drop back down to your knees. Whew. Same thing, just with your modification. It is still a challenge. Four more and then we get a break. Whew. Three, Whew. two, Whew. last one. Whew. Good job, Whew. knees down, hips back. Ah, child's pose, reach out through the fingertips. Just got a little bit more arm effort to put into this and then we cool things down, okay? Deep breath. Exhale. Very, very, very good, okay? Full plank, rock forward. Full plank, awesome, awesome, awesome. Hold here, let's come into tippy toes and shoot the heels back. Tippy toes, heels back. Now is your tailbone up? Or are you flexing? Once again, doing that little scoop in your pelvis, sending it underneath you, flexing the core. Six, five, four, three, two. Shift forward, tippy toes hold. Oh, hard on those shoulders. Six, five, four, three, two. Send it back, hold. Six, five, four, three, two. Hip slip, down dog. Pedal it out. This is where you were in the beginning of class, so things are kind of coming full circle. Take right heel down, left heel down. Inhale to plank, small push up, and lift. Inhale to plank, small bend, and lift. Exhale, small bend, press up. Small bend, and press up. See if you can make that bend a little deeper and lift a little bit deeper and lift. Three more of these each time, getting a little bit lower maybe. Two, last one. Good job, woo, very, very good. Okay, wag that tailbone side to side. Let's walk up to a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Last little burnout here for the shoulders. Small bend in the knees. Let's roll all the way up to standing. Ah, everybody's favorite. Seems so easy. It's so hard. Okay, let's reach the arms out like we did in the beginning of class and press down one inch. Soften in your knees. This is how we finish the class today. At first, you might be thinking that went from really hard to really easy, but no, no, no. 
No, 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 it's gonna burn, okay? Little press, little press. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, palms come up, pulse, pulse. Remember, you have a soft bend in the knees, they're not quite locked out. Just reflect on everything you did the rest, the rest the, this last 45 minutes. Okay, a little lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, palms face me, press, press. Keep it tight. If you need a little break, take it and then put those arms back out there. Power through. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, pinkies up, press, press, press. You might have tried to drop the arms down, but let's go ahead and keep them lifted, making you use those shoulders a bit more. Press it back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, circle back. All right, if you're in a place where you can, let's take the feet out and releve, holding up here, circle back. So working balance, having to flex your core a bit more, using your shoulders, a little bit of calves, just wrapping everything up. Six, five, four, three, two, forward. Forward, forward, good job. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release, whoa, give yourself a hug, okay? Right arm across, reach, not the wrist or the elbow, but instead at the forearm and lengthen across the body, okay? You can take the heels down now, just stretch. It's our cool down, okay? Try not to skip the cool down, all right? You need these stretches, they're important, okay? Inhale, hands out. Exhale, switch sides. Okay. Roll out the wrist if you want, that's okay. Inhale, hands up. Let's go ahead and forward fold, exhale, down. Take your feet out a little bit wider and grab opposite elbows. Let's ragdoll here, just sway side to side. Side to side. And walk the hands over to the right and just hold over your right leg. Okay, so reaching down, lowering the chest towards the right leg and then at the same time, go ahead and bend that left knee. Inner thigh stretch and lengthen. Two more. Last one, and walk the hands to your left. Hold for a moment, leaning over that leg, finding your deep stretch, and then bend the knee and straighten. Another big bend and straighten. Come back to neutral. I wanna stretch out your back, so fingertips face the back behind you. You can add a little bend in the knees and focus on like spreading the shoulder blades apart as you reach back behind you, letting the head kind of relax, the neck relaxes, and reach back. So notice my back is kind of stretching and rounding through the top. And then gentle release. Right hand on the mat, left hand lifts for your twist. Hips stay facing the floor so you get the most out of this. And then left hand comes down, right hand lifts. And release. Little bend in both knees. Let's drag those hands all the way up the body. We've got that one vertebrae at a time. Roll up, shoulders back. Lift them up into the ears. Send them into your back pockets. Last time. Inhale, hands up. Right side stretch or lean to the right. Ooh, obliques lengthening all the way out. Inhale, middle. Exhale, take it left. Obliques once again, reaching all the way out. You're just about through. Inhale, hands through the middle. Exhale. I always like to finish off class with three breaths when I do a full class. So inhale, hands up. Exhale. Inhale, reach up nice and tall again. Exhale. This is the last one. Inhale, lift and exhale great job give yourself a pat on the back 
very challenging, difficult bar class and you made it through, okay? If you feel like you need to practice a little bit more, maybe just keep repeating this video until you've got everything you know down and you're really focusing on those different areas, not having to take so many breaks. If you enjoyed this video and you love my channel, make sure to subscribe. There's plenty more videos where this one came from, so you can click on those as well. My favorite thing is to read comments from you guys. So if you have something, please drop that down below. Give me a comment, let me know what you wanna see next, what you thought of this workout, where you feel the most sore. I'd love to hear it. Bye guys.